everyone. First of all, if I sound really strange in this video, I've got such bad hay fever. I woke up this morning. I've just been sneezing and blowing my nose like every friggin' minute. So this video may turn out to be a disaster, but YOLO. Seriously though, my eyes are all like, ugh. <laughs> so today I am going to be doing a tutorial. I've already done my base, as you can see. I'll explain in one moment. You guys may remember a few months ago I did a beauty review, unboxing review kind of video. I will link it down below. I got my next one and today I thought instead of doing like an unboxing video I would do a bit of a tutorial um, using the products that I got inside the box on my face so we can see how well they perform and yeah that's pretty much it. <laughs> If you do not know what this gem is, basically Beauty Review is a New Zealand website where you can search tons and tons of reviews. So if you've got any like makeup products or beauty products or whatever and you want to learn more about that product, you can go to their website and there's tons of reviews from people like you and I. And you can write your own reviews. You get the idea. So every three months this website Beauty Review has a box for sale that looks like this and it focuses on full size products not just like samples like a lot of other beauty boxes. It also focuses on current colours like colours that are on trend. It focuses on products that are like new. The only thing it's only available for members so you must sign up to the website. I'll put more information down below and this one here cost $55 but I have written down here that it is worth over $267 and it's got a bunch of full size stuff in it which I will show you as I go. So I'm going to be using all of the beauty products today. There's a couple of like skincare items and like other like hair care and body care and stuff. I might show you a couple things at the end but let's just jump in. So to save some time I already did do my base um, because there's no foundation products in this box. However I did use the Trilogy Line Smoothing Day Cream which came in the box. This is valued at $54.90. I actually have tried this before. This is the consistency. It's just a really nice hydrating day cream just to put on you know before you do all your makeup and last step of your skincare. You guys know what to do with the moisturizer I hope. Also I used this which was like a bonus sample in the box. It is the Shiseido Glow Enhancing Primer. Really, really like this. It's basically like a moisturizer primer and it's got little iridescence in it, like pinky and I don't know, just like reflective iridescence. So it gives you that really nice glow before you put on your foundation. Now let's move on to the next step. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows today. Um, this was included in the box. It is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil, which interests me. Universal? I'm very blonde. I don't know if it's going to suit me. Let's hope it does. This is worth $33. It's a little like windy uppy self sharpening pencil. Okay it doesn't look terrible. It's a little bit darker than I probably normally go for but it's not bad. It's super creamy. It's really really pigmented. It's very smooth to draw. Actually that colour doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> so that's how the brows look before and after. Magic. <laughs> Next up we are using the Rimmel London Eyeshadow Palette in Brixton Brown. Looks like this. This retails at $16.99. First off I am going to take this shade here and I'm just going to sweep that on the lid really really lightly. And then I'm going to take the shimmery shade on the same brush. And this is going to go on my inner corner and on the first kind of third to half of my lid. Just blending it into that other brown colour. It's just a really pale brown colour. It's quite similar to my natural skin tone. Once it's on anyway. It looks darker in the pan but it doesn't come off that dark. I'm also taking that colour under my brow bone. I mean, under my brow bone, under my eyebrow. You guys know what I mean. Like I sound like an ogre. Thanks, hay fever. Okay, next step, I'm actually going to do kind of like a winged eyeliner look using the eyeshadows. I'm going to start with the red colour in the centre. And I'm just going to draw that across my lid. And I'm not being super tidy. I kind of want it to look quite smoky and hazy looking. I'm doing it quite thick because I'm going to layer the other colours and make it a little bit thinner afterwards. And then what I'm going to do is go back in with like a blendish brush. Blendish brush? You know what I mean? Okay, I am so scared of brand. Don't know what's wrong with me. Next I'm going to take that warm brown up there. 
This time I'm going to be a little bit tidier and just kind of trace the lower edges of that. If that makes sense, just watch what I'm doing because I think that'll be a lot easier than try to listen to my rambling. This is just a really nice rich chocolate brown. It's not as scary as it looks in the pan. It comes off quite... How do you even describe? Like, the same colour as what we just used, that reddish colour, except a little bit more brown. Like, it's not super brown and dark. It's just the perfect colour to pair up with that red. I just have to say as well, this colour looks so good with green eyes, it just makes them pop. Now that we have that colour down, we're going to go with the darkest shade. And this is just going to really define that line and make it look a lot more harsh. We are going to use eyeliner as well. Um, you can probably skip this step if you don't want it to look too crazy or you don't have enough time. But layering up these colours just helps to give you a really cool like smoky kind of look. So again, I'm just going quite close to the lash line with this colour. I'm not overlapping the very top where that red is. I'm just using it to kind of create an ombre effect almost, just to smoke it out a bit. I'm just using the little sponge tip applicator that comes in the palette just to sharpen up that edge. I'm just going to add a little bit to that lower lash line just to tie it in. So I'm just adding a little bit more of that colour underneath, kind of like under my eye. I'm using the little, um, I was going to say spoolie, the little sponge tip applicator that the palette comes with. I'm just going to touch up that inner corner a little bit because I blended it away a little bit when I was um, blending out that first shade. Okay, next we're going to go into the next product. Boom. Okay, I've used this before as well. I already own one. This is the Zara Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is worth $20. Um, so we're just going to use a tiny bit of this along the top lash line. This will just help our lashes look a little bit thicker again. As you can see, it's got the tiniest little thin tip. It's really, really nice and flexible as well. So it's super easy to use. I'm going to draw a super thin line just above the lashes. And then for mascara, I have this one here by Moisture Mist. This is the oppressive. This is the impressive lash. This one is worth thirty dollars. And remember, this is only fifty-five dollars. This whole box costs you fifty-five dollars. So I definitely think that the value is there. It's a really good deal if you want to try out some new products because you definitely get well and truly what you paid for it. I'm pretty sure I've got this mascara as well. It's super pretty, it makes your lashes look like feathers. This mascara is great for you if you hate clumpy mascaras. It's super smooth. It just coats every single lash. It doesn't, well, it separates, but it makes you look like you've got twice as many lashes as you actually do. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, can you see? That's a really pretty face. <laughs> so now we shall move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to start with blush. This one comes in the box and it is worth $20 also. I actually have this as well. I love these blushes. Bleh, 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 blushes. This is the Za Cheeks Groovy Blush in Glowing Pink. It's kind of like Nars Orgasm. It's that kind of nice um, pink colour with a gold reflect. It's super beautiful. I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. I'm doing quite a heavy blush look today. I'm just applying it and then I'm going to take another brush and blend out the edges just so it doesn't look clownish. Because no one wants that. Unless you do want that, then skip this step. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, if I can find it, there it is. Okay, I'm going to take the Rimmel quad that I used before. Well, it's not really a quad, it's got five colours. Anyway, <laughs> I'm using the lightest shade on my finger. And I'm just going to gently put that on top of my cheekbone. You can use a brush if you want, but I just am too scared I'm going to get the other colours in there. I don't want red cheekbones. So I'm just applying it and then I'll take a brush and just blend that out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to live on the edge. This colour looks freaking amazing. This is definitely like... I don't even know. I wonder if Rimmel makes this colour separately because it is like stunning. I'm going to take a little bit of my finger and put it down the centre of my nose. And also on my cupid's bar. 
And then for the lips, so the shade here is in Dusky Rose 830. It is a really beautiful colour. Just not sure about the finish. I actually don't mind it too much, but I am going to just line my lips a little bit with a lip liner just to kind of matte it down a little bit. So that is the completed look. I just want to show you a couple more things that I got in my box as well, just in case you were wondering. Um, I also got a Skin Food Exfoliating Scrub, which I love this brand. I haven't actually tried this product before, so I'm quite excited. I love exfoliating scrubs because my skin gets really gunky and it gets a lot of build-up, so exfoliators are very important to me. So this one retails for $13.99. I also got Rexona Clinical Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. Always handy, like you're always going to need this, so it's kind of cool to get it. It is worth $15.27. I also got some of these cute little um, bobby pin spinny things. I think you use these to create buns. I've never actually tried them before, so that'll be a bit of fun. <laughs> these are worth $5. I also got a Cameo Teasing Brush worth $5 always handy as well. Um, we get a little $10 off voucher for billion dollar brows and the last thing we got which I'm very happy about because this is one of my favorite beauty products ever at the moment. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer and it is worth $10.99. So yeah that is my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. It's a little bit light but it's still, I don't know, it's still kind of like, is it dramatic or is it simple? I guess it depends who's looking at it. I feel like this is somewhere in between for me. Like, it's still really simple enough for everyday wear, but it's kind of more dramatic. But you can still get away with it every day. Does that make sense? That's what the eyes look like. That mascara actually looks really pretty as well. I'll list all of the products down below as well if you do want to like try this out for yourself or check out any of the products. I'll put the link to Beauty Review down below and I will also put a little bit more information about the box and how you can sign up and the pricing and all of that kind of thing in case you are interested. By the way, the box comes in limited numbers as well so you do want to sign up if you are very interested in this. You want to sign up so you get notifications and everything so you don't miss out. Um, because I do believe every single time they've done this it's like sold out pretty quickly. Um, yeah, and it comes out every three months as well. Cool, okay, I think I've given you all of the information that I think you guys would want to know. If there's anything else you want to know, feel free to leave me. Uh, I don't know what happened. The camera seemed to cut out. I have no idea what happened. My camera might have gone dead. I don't know. I was saying, just leave me a comment down below if you want to know any more info. If you liked this video, please thumbs up and I will talk to you soon. Bye!